Lobby Tools, legislative news and information systems, on the web at lobbytools.com. They're not going down without a fight. Members of Florida's Tea Parties are asking state lawmakers to continue the rebellion against the Affordable Care Act. This debate is in fact about a federal government that has broken its constitutional bonds. The outspoken crowd attended the first meeting of a Senate committee formed to implement the new health care laws. The American Constitution, which you just swore an oath to uphold and defend, has been contorted, hijacked, and reduced. Alexander Hamilton tells us in Federalist Paper 78, no legislative act contrary to the Constitution can be valid. We ask you to say no to the federal mandate and move to deal with our health care and health insurance issues under the authority of the state, not under federal dictate. It may seem the petitioners are fighting a losing battle. The U.S. Supreme Court upheld the law over the summer, and last month President Barack Obama was reelected. But the state does have some say over how the new law is implemented. The first choice for lawmakers is whether or not to set up a health care exchange. The feds have set a December 14th deadline. One thing I've learned about federal deadlines is they get extended. State Senator Joe Negron chairs the committee on the Affordable Care Act. Negron is one of the most libertarian members of the legislature. He's glad the Tea Party is voicing concerns. I think it's very helpful when citizens come forward to uh, share their point of view with us. And uh, uh, so I was, I was pleased they were there. Over their objections, most of the law will go into effect without state approval. Well, the biggest decision the Tea Party could influence is whether or not to expand Florida's Medicaid roles. Reporting in Tallahassee, I'm Whitney Ray.